Hey, this is Adam Watson, and I am inside a back area of the library here at Martha Lane Collins High School. Today I'm going to talk to you about plickers. That's with a P as in Paul, plickers. Now, plickers has a couple of different things you have to do beforehand as far as before you actually use this app-related service. And by the way, all this is free. The first thing is that from their website, you have to download the plicker cards. Now, these plicker cards here... Um, are numbered 1 through 40 is a typical set. The idea of this is that you can print them out and in this case this is kind of like a nice card stock. Uh, they do say that you could laminate these if you wanted to although they say matte laminate because if it's another kind of laminate it might have glare and not read as well. So the first thing is you make these cards. Again free download print from the website. The second thing is you have to put an app and the good thing about this app is that it could be on a smartphone like an iOS a smartphone um, iPhone device you also can do it for your iPad, but it also has an Android app. So you have iOS and Android for that. The actual website itself, and I'll gesture over here, you do have to create an account, again, for free as a teacher. And the first thing you have to do is that you have to create your classes. Now the thing is, is that you have a demo class that you can add names, and you can see that we have some names here that might recognize and ring a bell if you know anything about comic books. The idea of it is, is that you can create your class and as you put numbers and assign them inside of clickers, that number card goes to that student's name. So for example, <coughs> I want to make sure that I give card number one, in this case to Peter Parker, and card number two goes to someone and so on. And you could do this if you have a high school, for example, with seven periods, you could have several different classes but using the same set of cards. So that's what's nice about that. And one last thing that I'll point out about the cards themselves is that the cards themselves have really teeny tiny print and so you might think to yourself wow that doesn't seem very practical I can barely see the C and the B and the A and the D and the number 11 but there's actually a practical reason that Plickers does that as students have these as response cards the idea of it is that each one is a little bit unique looking across the room or even probably shoulder to shoulder I can't easily tell when you turn the card a certain way what letter you're really trying to indicate to the teacher is my answer choice. <clears throat> so the idea of this is that it's not a system of, ooh, everyone else says C and I'm going to show C as well. You really can't see from a little bit of a distance what that looks like. So it can keep the uh, answer system pure that way. And as I just indicated, that's basically how these plickers work. You create a question in the computer. You tell your app, this is the question I'm about to ask and prompt the students. You ask the students to turn their cards in a certain way, A, B, C, or D to answer hold it and as my iPad or my phone goes around the room it's going to read those different cards indicate that card number three has answer letter D for example and in real time I can see those results and later on I can look at it as far as analyzing how my students are getting the content. So I'm going to put this down again although you can do it with your phone the iPad's a little easier to see and uh, the interface is a little bit faster. It works pretty well with the phone. I like that too, but this works pretty well. So, we are going to go to our live view on the computer. And let's just do a, a sample question here. So, I'm going to go to the writer of the seven habits, okay, with the answers A, B, C, and D. I've prepped and prepared this question beforehand. Notice that I have all my students, possibly my class, I have 40 names here for the 40 cards. When I'm ready to read the cards that are scattered around the room, I'm going to hit the camera icon. And if I chose another question in the live view on the actual computer, this might be the one that's connected to the projector, a different question would come up. So I can control that remotely from my smart device. So I am ready to scan my answers. Okay, here comes my camera. Notice it's saying nobody's been read yet. We have our list of names. And scattered around the room as our cards turned in different ways. So, looking at the iPad here, run across the room. See how quickly we're already noticing names. See how the names pop up, like augmented reality of whose card am I actually scanning. And, I'm not going very far. If we have a card, okay, we can read it and keep going. Going across the room, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And another one, and last but not least, run right here. 
So the good news about this is that you can have some distance from the card and still be able to read them from across the room. In fact, it's better that way. Usually if you go a little bit too close, you actually have to back up a little bit in order for it to read. Now that I have all these answers, let's finish by coming over here. I can see in this view all the students that have answered. If I wanted to, clicking this, I could see the answers themselves. How do they actually answer the question? If I go to the graph function, I can see in general how everyone answered. And by clicking the show correct button, I can highlight for everyone to let them know, you know what guys, the answer was actually C and it looks like two of you answered that correctly. So this is what I would be showing as far as the class going through it. And all these results are kept unless I clear the results and start over again. That's a very quick down and dirty <laughs> demonstration of the clicker system. Again, all for free. I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you have any questions, you know you can email me at adam.watson at shelby.kyschools.us. Thanks so much.